everybody, this is the next part of the uh, Fall New Vlog for uh, basically Thursday and Friday, and that was uh, February 14th and 15th, uh, two days combined into a Fall New Vlog. Uh, so because uh, uh, I ended up going to church, and when I go to church, uh, it's a two-day affair, because uh, there's the evening and then there's the morning, uh, and the amount of time I have to vlog isn't sufficient to do the two days, so the two days are combined into a follow me vlog, and that's going to happen again for Saturday and Sunday, that's typically Saturday and Sunday is going to be like that, because, again, uh, I'm going to go into my parents' house, uh, uh the, uh, uh, Saturday, and then going to church Saturday night and Sunday morning, so, that's how that's going to work, but, uh, on to the, uh, topic at hand. Uh, if you notice that uh, I've been doing the YouTube stroll a little bit more, and you can sort of see this now that I'm starting to sort of identify that I am, when I am doing the YouTube, tr YouTube stroll, you can see this on my feed for Facebook, Twitter, and uh, of course YouTube. Uh, you'll be able to see when I do the uh, uh, the uh, YouTube stroll. And it's from there that I usually get my, some of my ideas to start talking about, because I want to see uh, what other people are talking about, how, talking about how they're talking about it, and so on and so forth. So I've got some, I got some actually really good ideas, some really good ideas so far. Uh, we had uh, talked about uh, gay rights and spiritual uh, poison. Uh, we went into Ali, Ali Bongo's uh, uh, video uh, when we found that she was talking about nice guys finish last, and that that whole relationship there. It kind of worked into it because uh, uh, there's this is where some of the stuff gets sort of left off because you, you've only got ten minutes basically to deal and get everything you want to get into the video. Uh, otherwise, uh, if things start getting a little long, well, the phone bill vlogs are going to be long on that. So you do have to be some time, somewhat time conscious. But uh, what needs to be said is that the spiritual poison d doesn't exist simply for homosexuality. It exists for all sexuality. That, that, that sexuality really destroys uh, the person's soul. And this sort of uh, kind of... Uh, uh, spills over into, I guess, the topic that would, would be sort of fitting for Valentine's Day, February 14th, and uh, Nice Guys Finish Last, is that uh, a large chunk, a large, a large number of players will use the Nice Guys Finish Last line, and without telling the girl uh, that, or well, hopefully not letting having the girl know that this guy is a player, uh, and there is a sort of a flip side to this, or a uh, a tag along hidden in the shadows that the girls really don't know about, and that's the guy's view of the quote unquote friend zone. Uh, and this is sort of the nice guys finish last comes out of the whole friend zone issue uh, for guys. In other words, uh, and to give you an, uh, a a, a brief primer on this. Uh, this whole thing about nice guys finishing last, uh, the friend zone, for a guy, the standard is you have to be a player, you have to be a dude, you have to be a stud, so on and so forth. In other words, uh, primarily beyond a certain age, particularly beyond the age of 15, 15 and, uh, and over, you have to have a, a quote-unquote Freudian lifestyle. Now, I spoke well, this in a previous video where I brought I brought in and defined the Freudian lifestyle, what Freudian means. So we're going to stick with the Freudian uh, uh, references. And if you don't know what Freudian is, go look up uh, 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 Freud uh, on Wikipedia, and you'll find all about his uh, psychological theories. And then you'll understand Freud. Uh, uh, it will talk about a Freudian identity, a Freudian behavior, and so on and so forth. Uh, so, most guys are supposed to, at the age of 15, have this Freudian behavior, and they are to entice this out of the girls to come and, and join them in this Freudian behavior on both on, on the girls' side and the boys' side. Uh, but what happens is that girls primarily are interested in relationships. They are not interested in uh, the Freudian lifestyle specifically. The, uh, and, and the Freudian lifestyle is absent 
uh, of the relationship. The, the relationship is, is, is a secondary component to the Freudian lifestyle. Everything is primarily uh, motivated by this, this Freudian view, this Freudian mindset. Uh, so, you can't go up to a girl and say, let's be Freudian. What you have to do is you have to sort of go up to the girl and pretend to be interested in the things that she is in, interested in. In other words, you have to play the girl in order to bring her into the Freudian zone. And now, uh, obviously, if you understand the Freudian zone, you understand it from the, I'll talk about this from the guy's perspective. The Freudian zone is not the friend zone. In other words, you, you can't be friends with the girl if you intend to bring her into the Freudian zone. And this is why they say nice guys finish last, and the whole it, and it compares to and connects to the friend zone, because if you're a friend with a person you, and you like the person as a friend, then you are a nice guy, and you cannot bring you cannot because the the Freudian zone is fundamentally selfish, and you cannot be selfish with a friend. So what happens is the friend zone kills the selfish Freudian zone. It destroys it. And this is sort of what brings us into uh, talking about the spiritual poison is that if the Freudian, Freudian, if Freudian behavior kills the friend zone, then Freudian behavior, uh, behavior because it is fundamentally selfish is also spiritual poison. It destroys the soul. And this can actually be demonstrated in the lifestyle of many of the people, these players who have this specifically Freudian lifestyle, uh, that this is the end result if they do not change their ways and eventually at some point in time decide that the uh, relationship is the thing that's going to be for them. And, has, and they have to at some point in time, if, if they choose this relationship life, that, that means a married life, that they're going to have to put away the Freudian zone. In other words, the Freudian zone has to go, uh, has to go in order to have the marriage relationship. If you, if you have a Freudian, if you're primarily Freudian, then the relationship in marriage is not going to exist properly. And even if it does form temporarily, it's going to collapse. Anyway, this is sort of leading into, it, says it talk, talks about, this gets into uh, Valentine's Day, because Valentine's Day is supposed to be this whole fundamentally Freudian holiday that makes people, a lot of people who are single, miserable because it reminds them that they're alone. And the thing is, is that this, is, this, this attached depression to loneliness is a bizarre thing because at some points where you can fight it, there's other times when you really can't fight it, it really gets to you and it knocks you uh, it knocks you down. Uh, loneliness is one of the very tough fighters, and it, it, the tough opponents you have in your life, and it's not as easy as you think to deal with it. So and this is where, where it happens when mo most people say they're depressed. Most people in their lives who are depressed, uh, even with a de with a minor degree of depression, it, it has to do with the, their, their fundamental loneliness, and this is the, the cornerstone. This is the the bedrock that, that, that depression is built on, this lo that, 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 the nagging loneliness. And this causes a lot of problems, and this is why, in many cases, like, on, on holidays like vamp, uh, vent, uh, Valentine's Day, Christmas, any family-oriented holiday, any or holiday, holiday celebrating a relationship causes particular problems to people who are alone because they... The, the loneliness that they're feeling, the loneliness that they are existing in, is highlighted. So it's, it's sort of brought out more than it would be on a normal average day. But anyways, uh, that's about it for today. As I said, we're going to continue on with these topics. I think bringing in these topics like this and doing the YouTube stroll uh, really sort of uh, uh, gives me something more to talk about. It, it makes uh, uh, for a better vlog than if I did silly say after day after day. Well, I just did the same thing over today. I did some cleaning. I worked at the, at, the, I'm at the research desk and blah 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 blah, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, so this is the way we're going. I'm gonna try to bring in new features. I'm working on a couple new uh, 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 show concepts for uh, for my YouTube channels, 
and I'll let you know as these things go along. Alrighty, I will see you for Saturday and Sunday's vlog uh, in a couple hours. Alright, take it easy.